Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about protein folding and we are going to answer one question which beta sheets are more compact parallel or anti-parallel. Take a look for example at this arrangement. So here we have one beta sheet, here is another one which go in the different direction. So this is anti-parallel arrangement of beta sheets. So let's say we have four of them. So to go in one direction and to go in the different direction. But also we may have another variant when all four would go in the same direction. So three and four. Now let's add end terminus. This is beginning of the polypeptide chain. So now let's connect this beta sheets with loops. And here we are going to have C terminus. So this is example of the anti-parallel. Now let's take a look at the parallel. So what going to happen here? Again, let's say here we have n terminus and then in order to connect to parallel uh, beta sheets, there have to be such large loop here and here and here. And somewhere here we are going to have C terminus. Now as you see when beta sheets are arranged parallel they have to be connected by much larger loops which can take as much space as beta sheets themselves and when beta sheets arrange in anti-parallel order they can be much more compact because this loop that connects them can be much smaller and anti-parallel beta sheets can be folded into the much smaller three-dimensional form. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.